What is up, guys? Frank the Tank here, back on another episode of MLB The Show 16. First episode, or excuse me, first game of the Padres franchise. Just going to go through some stuff. There's our GM goals. Uh, finished with the best record in the majors. That's not going to happen in the first year. Um, I think reach postseason is not going to happen. Finish over 500, maybe. Uh, we're in a really good division, so I'm not too sure about how we're going to fare with these. But we're going to do our best, so we will jump over and take a quick look at a trade that we're going to get done here. We're going to trade John Jay, Travis Jankowski, and a starting pitcher named Logan Allen. Um, I was thinking, and somebody posted in the comment section, you really didn't get any good young offensive players to build around. So I took a look at Abdubal Herrera. He plays five different positions. He's 24. One year of service, 86 and 82 contact. Really good contact numbers, 82 speed. This trade works for us. We're going to pick him up. He will be our new starting center fielder. Take a look at our rotation. We have Noah Syndergaard, our big pickup, our big trade. Tyson Ross in the second spot. Kashner, Erlin, and Colin Ray. Bullpen, Brandon Maurer, um, Carlos Villanueva, Brad Hand, Ryan Buchter, Butcher, whatever, Kevin Quackenbosch, Rex Brothers, and Kevin Jepsen. We picked up Kevin Jepsen in a deal from the Twins, and we made him our closer. So we're going to go through our lineup here, uh, making a couple changes to the lineup. Going to bring in Brett um, or Brett Wallace on the bench. We're going to bring in Solarte. Uh, Will Myers is always going to play for us. Matt Joyce, we picked him up in a trade with the Pirates. And that's going to be how our lineup is generally going to look. We have Jabari, Bash, uh, Jabari Blash starting in left field for us. We're hanging on to Kemp right now um, just because there's really not a good trade out there. I can't tell you guys how much time I spent messing around with trades. And, you know, I couldn't really put anything together to get Kemp out. His contract is just too much. You know, he's $18 million, but we'd have to pick up somebody that's at least like $10 million to make the deal even work because budgets are turned on. Uh, so it really doesn't make any sense for us. We're going to keep him for a little while. Um, you know, we have a decent team here. You know, not going to lie. We made a few moves. I think we made five or six trades. Um, made some free agent signings that I'll go over in a minute. But, you know, we got a pretty solid team. We're opening the season up against the Dodgers. A couple of our free agent signings. We signed Alan Webster. He's a starting pitcher. Three years at 566000 per year. Rex Brothers, a 73 overall left-handed reliever. Five years, $1.3 million per year. So that's a pretty nice deal. Uh, he fits right into the bullpen. Casey Sadler, another young starting pitcher. Two years at five hundred fifty k each. So not too bad. We also picked up Vic Black um, in free agency. Three years, 533000 per year. So we got some really nice depth. I think all those guys are around 24, 25-ish. Uh, and here's the beast, man. There's Thor. Noah Syndergaard starting for us. But our opening day start is against Clayton Kershaw. So we have a decent team, but we're really young. A lot of guys on this team I haven't played with, so it's going to be a learning curve for me as well. It kind of sucks that we got to go against Kershaw for our first game. But what are you going to do? You see the inter... Uh, introductions there i love those uniforms here's first year manager dave roberts for the dodgers of course don mattingly moving on to miami dodgers lineup crawford puig adrian gonzalez Corey seager the rookie shortstop batting in the four hole justin turner kike hernandez howie kendrick is grandal and of course clayton kershaw in my opinion still the best pitcher in baseball noah Syndergaard. this guy i told somebody in the comment section noah Syndergaard in three years will be the best pitcher in baseball. You can book it. 6'6", 240, 23 years old. Um, I didn't. I forgot to do it before this game, but I'm going to make a note to myself to go mess with his pitches. He's been throwing a slider this year. It's about 94 miles an hour. Absolutely devastating. So we're going to mess with that and maybe try to add that to his repertoire. Carl Crawford up first to pitch. He's going to ground it over to third. Solarte will fire on to Will Myers for out number one. One pitch, one out is what we like to see out of Cindergard. Next batter, Yasiel Puig. He's going to hit this one into right field. A really weird dive there. I tried to jump. Um, I think I just messed up. But Yasiel Puig is going to get on base with a single. Got to watch him. 77 speed is pretty decent. He's been known to swipe a bag or two. Next batter, Adrian Gonzalez, one of the best pure hitters in baseball. He's going to put this one center field. 
and Adubo Herrera getting into the action early on is going to put that away for out number two. Next batter, Corey Seager. Um, I'm pretty sure he'll qualify as a rookie this year. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure. So we'll see. He grounds out to second base, and we get out of that unscathed Western Metal Supply Company, one of the coolest reasons to play at Petco Park. Uh, one of my subs, who's a big Padres fan, really likes the series. He said Petco Park is the nicest park in baseball. I disagree. I think it's PNC Park. But, you know, we wouldn't be doing this franchise if they didn't have a nice stadium. So here we go. First-year manager Andy Green for us. Our lineup there, Adubo Herrera, Corey Spangenberg. I'm pretty sure that's how it's said. Matt Kemp, Will Myers, Yangirva Salarte, Derek Norris, Jabari Blash, one of the coolest names in baseball, Luis Valbuena, and, of course, Noah Syndergaard. So here we go. Clayton Kershaw, one of the most dominant pitchers. In the game of baseball, like I said, I think he's the best right now. Uh, three Cy Young Awards. You know, the guy's still 28. Still got probably, you know, 8 to 10 years left in him, barring any major injuries. So here we go, Herrera, a recent pickup from the Phillies. Uh, hit 297 in the limited time he got last year. He might have played the whole year with the club or with the Phillies, I'm not sure. But we got a 1-0 out to pitch from Kershaw, and he is going to hit this one to second base. Howie Kendrick fires on to Adrian Gonzalez for out number one. Next batter, Corey Spangenberg. The pitch, 1-1. He's going to hit this one in the air. It looked a little better off the bat than it was, but Puig shades a little bit into foul ground and puts that away for out number two. Next batter, Matt Kemp, 1-0. Still around in the Padres uniform, and he's going to hit a little dinker here, and all Kershaw has to do is fall off the right side of the mound to put that away for out number three. Very uneventful first inning here in San Diego. But not right now. Look at this. We have two guys on, 2-2 two, two count. The pitch from Syndergaard is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop who fires on to first to get Yasmani Grandal. But that's going to be a ground out, an RBI fielder's choice. Ground out, Kike Hernandez comes in to score. Runner on second still, 0-2 to Kershaw. He's going to swing and miss 100 miles an hour up in the zone. There are not many people in the major leagues going to touch 100 right at the head. Here we go. I wanted to put this in here. Really cool shot of Mr. Padre Tony Gwynn and his statue outside of Petco Park. Really cool that they put a lot of these cool, um, nice cutscenes in the game. Top three, runner on third. We're going to strike out Puig here. They're threatening. Runners in scoring position. Next batter, Adrian Gonzalez, the 0-1 pitch. And he's going to hit a ground ball to first. Will Myers jumps up, fires home, and we're going to get the out at home. Very nice play to get Carl Crawford. Uh, fielder's choice for Adrian Gonzalez, and we're going to take Crawford out at home. Very nice play by Myers. So now we have two outs, one on the pitch to Seager, and he crushes this ball deep right field, and it is gone, way gone for that matter. Corey Seager, one of the, I think he's the number one prospect in all of baseball, and he is playing very well right now. Two-run homer for him is first on the year, and that's going to give the Dodgers a 3 to nothing lead here on opening day. Noah Syndergaard having some problems settling in. Uh, that was a pitch that we just caught way too much of the plate. Of 402 feet for Seager was a bomb. Um, when you throw 99 and somebody gets a bat on it, it will fly. Next batter, Justin Turner, 2-2 pitch. He's going to swing and miss at that nice fastball right off the outside of the plate. And so Syndergaard works his way out of it, but not after this bomb by Corey Seager to put the Dodgers up 3 to nothing. Hopefully our bats come around a little bit and get some of these runs back. So here we go, bottom of the third, Jabari Blash making his major league debut, of course from the U.S. Virgin Islands, and we look to make an impact with him. He gets to start in uh, left field. He's going to be our starting left fielder. Um, if he's really, really bad, we'll try to make a move or something, but we got some younger guys, Hunter Renfro, Max Kepler, uh, that we want to build up through the organization, so we'll hold a spot for him but he's going to put this one into left center field that's going to be a base hit that's going to be our first hit of the day off of Clayton Kershaw and that's going to be Mr. Blash's first major league hit very cool moment here hopefully it starts a rally as we now have Spangenberg up with bases loaded one out the pitch and he's going to hit a deep fly ball to center field it's going to get caught but it should be enough for the run to score from third and we are also tagging to third and we are just barely safe I think that was Oduble Herrera tagging the third base Matt Kemp up runners on the corners 0-2 this ball is going to get past Grandall 
Herrera is coming home and he is going to be safe. Excuse me, that was Luis Valbuena. He's going to come in, make it, to, uh, make it to home. And we pick up another run. 3-2 to two game here. 1-2 count the pitch to Kemp. And he bites on a beautiful inside slider by Clayton Kershaw for the strikeout, which ends the inning. Dodgers are out of the threat. And it's 3-2 to two headed to the fourth. So the fourth inning here, 2-2 two, two count, two outs, Yasmani Grandal at the plate. Syndergaard settling in after that rough top of the third, and he is going to get Grandal swinging a miss on that high fastball. 99 up in the zone, hard to catch up to. Strikeout number four on the day. So we're going to jump here, top five, Clayton Kershaw swings and misses over a sinker. Four, the fifth strikeout, Yasiel Puig up next, and he's going to sit down on that curveball. Just a spectator right there for Puig. Number six for Syndergaard. Top seven here. Kike Hernandez at the dish. 0-2 the pitch. And another 100 mile an hour up in the zone. Swings right through it. And Syndergaard settling in nicely. We need these bats to come alive. Kershaw's dominating us. Bottom seven here. Solarte at the plate. And Kershaw's going to hit him on the thigh. Now Kershaw's sitting at like only 60 pitches at this time. And Dave Roberts comes out here. I wonder what was going on. He's going to pull a double switch to pull Clayton Kershaw out of the game. I couldn't believe it. I thought this was my opportunity to get to the Dodgers as he brings Yaimi, Yimi Garcia. I don't know how to say his first name. But Garcia comes into the ball game, the right-hander, uh, to face Derek Norris and Jabari Blash. The pitch to Norris, 2-2, swings over a changeup. So not a good start for us with the new pitcher in the game. Next batter, Jabari Blash, 1-2 count, runner on first, the pitch, and he can't hold his swing and swings at a slider out of the zone. What I thought was a dumb move turns out to be a brilliant move by uh, Roberts, but top of the eighth, Adrian Gonzalez hits this one into oblivion. Two-run homer first on the year. Syndergaard caught way too much of the plate with that one. We're right around 100 pitches when this is going on. And we're going to end up pulling him there. Carlos Villanueva comes into the ball game. Try to salvage this game. See if we can keep it at three runs. The pitch to Justin Turner. He's going to roll over this one. And an easy play there for Valbuena. Bottom eight here. We have Brett Wallace at the plate. Pinch hitting for Valbuena, or for uh, Villanueva. Grounds into the inning ending. Or not the inning ending double play. But a 3-6-1 double play. That pretty much kills any rally we have. 1-2 here. Bottom of the ninth, Kenley Jensen in the game. Kenley Jensen, excuse me, in the game. He's going to strike out Matt Kemp. He is one of the best closers in baseball. We have our work cut out for us here. Still down three. Will Myers up next. One, two count. Two outs. Bottom of the ninth. The pitch, and we get a little bit into this one, but it won't do any damage. Will Myers 0 for 3 day turns to an 0 for 4 day. As the Dodgers bring home the victory here on opening day in San Diego by a score of 5-3. to three. Noah Syndergaard really excited to see him on this team. Having a lot of fun pitching with him. But we just missed our spot a couple times. And a team like the Dodgers with a potent offense like that will definitely make you pay for it. And it really doesn't hurt that they have Clayton Kershaw on the mound. Uh, shutting us down every step of the way. Our three runs come on a Spangenberg sack fly, Valbuena scoring on a wild pitch, and um, actually we only scored two runs, yeah those <laughs> only scored two runs, but really wasn't Kershaw's fault too much about those two runs, so here we go, Cindergard, seven two-thirds, six hits, five runs, eight Ks, that's gonna do it guys, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, let's hope we have a better showing next time.